Right, I'm going to be taking a look at two thermal optics from Hick Micro today. Both of them are great devices in their own right, but they would make an awesome day and night combo together. So I've got the Stella 2.0 thermal scope and the Lynx 2.0 thermal monocular. I've been using both of them over the past couple of weeks and I've been really impressed. Let's start with the Stellar SQ50 2.0 to give it its full name. Now it has a recommended retail price of £2,999.99 and that places it at the mid to high end of the thermal gun sight market as far as I'm concerned. Now as you can see it's shaped and proportioned very much like a conventional telescopic sight. Now I like that because of its traditional appearance but also because it feels familiar straight away. Now it's 30 millimeter tube design is also really handy because it makes for very straightforward mounting. The Stellar 2.0 weighs about 950 grams and is around 42 centimeters long, including its soft rubber eye cup. Now it sits inside a tough aluminum alloy housing and it's been built to withstand significant recoil. This is a scope that can stand up to proper use whether you're hunting over open fields, around woodland, or in the confines of farm buildings. This latest version of the Stella has been completely redesigned, and that includes a huge leap in optical quality. Now, it now boasts sub-20 net D performance with a highly sensitive thermal detector. The result is a remarkable viewing experience with sharp, layered images showing significant detail of the landscape around your target. Now, these are important factors for quarry identification and also for safe shooting. This scope has a 50 millimeter lens and a 0.49 inch subround OLED display. Detection range is out to 2,600 meters for a large object. The, the viewing experience is further enhanced by Hick Micro's Image Pro algorithm, which keeps the viewing sharp in a wide range of conditions. You also have a choice of color palettes in white hot, black hot, red hot, and fusion. The Stellar has a magnification range of 3.3 to 26.4 times. Now you can choose between continuous or stepped zoom and you adjust it simply by turning the dial on the top turret. Now that dial, if you give the button on top of it a press, opens a very easy to follow menu and you navigate it simply by turning the dial to scroll and then pressing the button to make your choices. Now one of the options within that menu is zeroing. You can save up to five different zero profiles and there is a choice of 10 different reticle designs in four different colors. There are additional quick access controls operated by the buttons on the ocular bell. Now, these include photo and video recording. Now, I think the video capture feature is absolutely brilliant. It's quick and easy, done at the press of a button, and the fact that it's recorded direct to an onboard 64 gig memory means you don't need to mess around with SD cards to do it. The Stellar's many features include picture-in-picture, -picture, warm and cool tone options, and a hotspot for connecting to your phone. So if you download the Hick Micro Sight app, you can then connect with your phone to view and share those captured photos and videos, and also for fast, simple firmware updates. Battery runtime is an important consideration when you're out in the field and the Hick Micro Stellar 2.0 boasts a dual power system that can deliver a runtime of up to 11 hours. Now, all of that power comes courtesy of two integral rechargeable batteries and one replaceable rechargeable battery. Now, that additional battery can quickly and easily be swapped out in the field to extend your hunting time and it comes supplied along with a charger. Right, let's move on to the Lynx 2.0 thermal monocular. 
Now this is another optic which has just been updated with a serious performance boost. Now one of my favourite things about this spotter is just how compact it is. It weighs about 300 grams and it's less than 17 centimetres long. So it's easy to stow in your pocket and it sits very comfortably in the palm of the hand. So the model I have here is the Lynx LH25 2.0. Now it's recommended retail price of £1,149.99 makes it a relatively affordable thermal spotter. Like the Stellar 2.0, this has been built for proper use and it boasts sub 20 net D detailed thermal viewing. Now that makes for a remarkably sharp layered viewing experience. It's excellent for quarry detection, even when the target is partially obscured by cover. There are various lens options with the Lynx 2.0. Now this model has a 25 millimeter lens and a detection range out to 1200 meters. Now it also zooms from 2.4 to 19.2 times at the press of a button. Now that enables you to wind the magnification right up for extra detail or to zoom out for a wider field of view, which can be really useful for effective spotting. This unit's runtime is a very respectable six and a half hours. Now, runtime is enhanced by a very clever auto screen off feature, which is activated by a sensor, which detects the angle of the links, or you can just pop it into sleep mode manually. Either way, it quickly kicks back into action in less than three seconds. Now, the power source is a removable, replaceable, rechargeable battery. You can quickly swap it out in the field and you can either recharge it on board or with the supplied charger. As with the Stellar 2.0, the controls on the Lynx are very easy to operate and that's done via the buttons on top of the device and a really simple to navigate menu. Now, the Lynx is able to record photo and video direct to its onboard memory, and it also has connectivity to the HIC Micro site app, and that enables you to view and share captured moments, and also to carry out those quick, easy firmware updates. The Lynx 2.0's features include warm and cool tone adjustment, picture in picture, and hot tracking. It can easily be operated with one hand and its round the clock thermal image quality is excellent. It has a 0.39 inch OLED display and it gives you a choice of color palettes in white hot, black hot, red hot and fusion. As I said at the outset, both of these devices are great in their own right, but together they would make for a brilliant thermal spotting and sighting combo for serious round the clock shooting by day and by night. Now, I've been using them with this gun for rabbit shooting and also with an air rifle for ratting. They've been terrific for that and I also think they'd be excellent for fox and deer shooting. They've got the kind of optical quality that makes for a truly immersive shooting experience. Now, the footage that we've shown you in this video has obviously been blown up to fit a screen much bigger than the display on these devices. So if you want to see just how good they really do look in the flesh, do try to pick them up and take a look for yourself.